we want to determine the given limits, we will be able to determine the limits by performing direct substitution. For the first limit, we have the limit of e raised to the power of negative three log base two of the quantity x plus three plus four as x approaches negative two. So performing direct substitution, we have e raised to the power of negative three times log base two of negative two plus three, and then we still have plus four. So notice how the plus four is not in the exponent. Simplifying again, we have e raised to the power of negative three times log base two of one plus four. Log base two of one is equal to zero, and let's review why. If we have log base two of one, let's set that equal to y, and write the log equation as an exponential equation using the definition below. Remember a logarithm is an exponent. The equivalent exponential equation is two to the power of y equals one. So if two to the power of y is equal to one, we need to be able to recognize that two to the power of zero is equal to one, and therefore y equals zero, and y is log base two of one. So going back to our work, we have e raised to the power of negative three times zero plus four, well, e to the zero is equal to one, giving us one plus four, which is equal to five. Looking at our second example, we have the limit of four times e to the power of negative two log base five of the quantity x plus one as x approaches four. Again, performing direct substitution, we have four times e raised to the power of negative two times log base five of the quantity four plus one Simplifying, we have four times e to the power of negative two times log base five of five. Well, log base five of five is equal to one, and again, let's review y. We take log base five of five, let's set it equal to y again. And again, writing the log equation as an exponential equation. Remember, a logarithm is an exponent. We have five to the power of y must equal five. So if five to the power of y is equal to five, we should be able to recognize that five to the first is equal to five, and therefore y is equal to one, and y is equal to log base five of five. So going back to our work, we have four times e raised to the power of negative two times one, or just negative two, and now let's review the negative exponent rule. a to the power of negative m is equal to one over a to the power of positive m, which means four times e to the power of negative two is equal to four divided by e squared. I hope you found this helpful.